thanks for stopping by for another beer review. Appreciate it. Tonight, getting into Ballast Points Jalapeno, Jalapeno, Habanero Sculpin. Why did I say Jalapeno? 7% ABV on this. Not much more to say there. Out of San Diego, California. Uh, it's a regular Sculpin I love. The grapefruit sculpin I immensely loved. It was fantastic. And this, I've never had. Very excited to get into this. Uh, it was pretty limited stuff. My dad grabbed me a bottle. He was able to grab my brother a bottle. And that was it. He couldn't find any more. So appreciate that, Dad. All the leg work. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. It says on here the heat may vary. Kind of hoping this is a hotter bottle. Really uh, like that good spice in a, a good beer. Uh, Stone's Crime, for example. Fantastic. I love that beer. Anyway, let's uh, see how this one is. Not sure I've had the a spicy IPA really before. I have had a few spicy beers. Leave a little room for the schnoz. Half full of guys. Pretty screaming carbonation. This glass isn't etched on the bottom either. Not like the uh, the uh, Sierra Nevada or Dogfish one. They're etched on the bottom. This one's not, but very clear, like typical sculpin. You got that nice copper, golden orange, crystal clear, just uh, effervescent carbonation that is not slowing down. That is pretty spectacular. Um, kind of that eight shell just off white head, really packed stuff. Looks great. Whew, excited. Let's get to the aroma. Ooh. First thing that came to my mind was uh, a salsa, to be honest, like uh, one of those pineapple habanero salsas, like uh, really, <laughs> it has this fresh bouquet of the heat, you, the, you smell that pepper, smoky quality, and I think maybe that really makes the hop profile because it's balancing off of a, a sharp heat like that, it makes, I don't know. I, I'm definitely getting pineapple, which I, I don't think is huge in the regular Sculpin, more grapefruit, but I think it's that heat. You definitely smell that habanero big time. I'm getting lots of that sweet fruit though, like citrusy, like I said, pineapple. And yeah, the habanero, it smells, it smells fantastic, to be honest with you. Uh, if you don't like peppers, though, you're not gonna even want to try this. I don't think. But I'm gonna dig into it. Cheers, everybody. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> I just say that's hot, but definitely getting the heat and it's going to hang around on your palate for I'm still getting it kind of working to the back of the throat kind of goes from your tongue back of the throat and now pretty much gone fantastic little ride that takes you on let's get another sip Yeah, it's kind of, take a, oh, this second sip's not nearly as hot. That first one kind of opens up your palate and says, get ready. And then you're kind of, I think that oil's still hanging around the palate, so it's not as hot on the second sip. But kind of, you sip on that, you get these typical citrusy, fruity hop, a bit of this malt. The, the habanero flavor is right there with it, but it's not hot yet. And then it really, starts to build and you, whoa, you get that nice heat. Smokiness, so habanero's got a really nice flavor too. It's not just this hot, kind of tongue burning thing. It's got a good flavor to that pepper. Hmm, yeah, it's really good. I don't know, you couldn't sit and drink this quite like the grapefruit. Uh, version, but 
pairing this with a, a spicy meal or some barbecue. Oh wow, I bet that'd be fantastic. And now that I'm sipping on it, it's, the heat's really not there on the tongue anymore. It's just kind of on the back of the throat after you've had a few sips. I guess maybe if you're a little more sensitive to the heat, this is potentially going to kick your ass and it's going to be too hot for you. I think Crime had much more heat to it. This is, uh, for me, it's not overly hot, but it definitely, it gives you some good spice. It lets you know you're drinking a spicy beer. I know I've had some where you're just like, how many of these chili ones in here? There is no heat. What you may, is that what I'm getting? A little bit of a heat. This will give you the heat, but if you're a hot head like me, I guess it's not too intense, but definitely there. Really good beer. Harder to wrap my head around the grade because I don't know. Definitely the, the pepper is taking over the base beer. It doesn't blend quite like the grapefruit, just really, those go together so well. These, I don't know, it's not like they're meant to go together, but it does work well together. So, I don't know. For me, I'm gonna give the Habanero, not Jalapeno, got it right this time. I'm gonna give the Habanero Sculpin, ah oh man, this is tough. I'm gonna give it an 89, I think it's just off on like the, the 90, but maybe having it a little fresher. I did leave this sit around a little bit, but I don't know how much those hops are gonna really shine past that habanero. Anyway, gonna wrap it up with that. Excited to drink this, kinda take my time and just sip on the rest, and appreciate you guys joining me for the review, as always. Until the next one, cheers.